one. If we give uh, the really bad distance of my camera, but let's make back map. And we're gonna start uh, to play some some Blair, some or finish up some Blair Witch. Hopefully, my controller starts to work because for some reason it's not hooking up. I should just take this out and try again. I'm using the official wireless adapter for USB because this computer doesn't have it pre-installed like most computers should. Now if I could just put it in the damn USB port again. Give me a moment. again. Why? I did everything you wanted me to! What the hell am I supposed to do now? Bullet, I... How could I... So last we left Ellis, he had to give up on Bullet. And it was a pretty depressing scene, all be told. Um... You know what's fun? My pajamas being on stream. That's always great. <laughs> Please, let it be something useful. And hopefully we're at the end now. Because I'm... Oh my god. The game kind of is... Got it interesting now. Maybe. game overall has handled health, mental health as a subject matter well enough, but um, there's just been, there's a really good jump scare early on in the game, and you can catch in the second part at youtube.com slash user slash 123 genmike. Oh. Going back, Ellis. There never was. Let's get this over with. Oh. These marks again. Finally, doing the thing that you should have done from the fucking beginning, which is put the flashlight on the camera. Seven vibes. So that hard to you know, create a, an old cabin in the woods, but oh, oh 
Oh my god, I thought I saw something up there. I thought I saw a creature. I'm not going up there yet. Fuck you. Last session with patient, he's leaving work as well as all works. He feels he's able to move on. I'm over this. I'm glad about this. Let's go ahead about the how. He'll be enlisting in the military service as, as his father or colonel commits to the join. Worried about what effect this environment will have on a sense of psyche. The stress and trauma of active duty might completely displace his childhood trauma with the woods. The same trauma that he already seems to have forgotten. Excuse me. However, I'm afraid the woods will never leave him. No matter what occurs, it will remain beneath. The former experience that made him who he is today. premise of this is very generic still, but I will say I, I want to give a shout out to uh, Patrick Clevick from uh, Waypoint Advice. Did you catch his did it work at Waypoint Waypoint.advice.com or advice.com slash games. And he gave a really good point on the recent uh, podcast about how how difficult it is to separate his how let me start over how difficult it is to criticize this game without separating his admiration and love for the original movie as a horror fan but he truly gets why the Blair Witch the original movie was so beloved and how this game has to, you know, well, maybe not has to. I think you could do something with the Blair Witch that movie did without having supernatural entities, but, like, you have to create something visually for the player to interact with. And, like, what's the point of making a game with the Blair Witch universe? And I know there have been some in the past, I think on PC, uh, and I know there was a Blair Witch sequel to the original movie, but wasn't as revered as the original, which makes sense, um, as well as the remake that came out in recent years. But he, he makes a really good point about just like, you know, if this didn't have the Blair Witch name, this would be seen as very generic, but still a quality and okay horror game. Because there's a lot out there, like, I don't think it's the best out there currently, uh, in terms of the independent space, but, like, Outlast really, uh, was one of the, a good early example of this really awesome, but flawed, um, actually, let me start that statement over. Really awesome wave of new horror games made by smaller teams. Flawed, I'm specifically pointing out uh, Outlast in particular because of, you know, dealing with uh, traversing a mental war. But, um, I still didn't play for Outlast 2, though I did watch the scene that apparently was quote-unquote censored in, uh, where the hell am I going? censored in, um, originally, before it's released, maybe because of Australia's ratings board, I don't know what, but, yeah, I don't know, wanna, I don't want to know, oh, alright, took the key, I don't want to know what the more explicit version of this scene and content warning I'm about to say, but basically it's like, you basically cut, I believe you cut open your, your girlfriend's stomach and there's a baby inside. I believe. I don't know, it's, it's unnecessarily gross. And not the good horror kind of gross, it's just like, oh, you're just doing this, huh? I gotta go back to the 
this other door, so I'm gonna unlock another door. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. There we go. The basement, right? Uh. What the? How, how did I end up back here? Oh, great. Yep, that got me. That got me. Fuck that shit. That one was different. The light just made it angry. So should I turn the light off? It's just fucking out there. I supposed to do I mean this is the room isn't it No. 
I want. Let me back up a bit. Which side am I supposed to be on? Yeah, the chair was right there. to a string. I mean, this is the... Peter. What the? This is light. <laughs> Scared. Uh, the breathing's making me breathe. Hey there, too. you must be Ellis. I'm Sheriff Lanning. If you want to call me in. Okay, now you're done. It's done. No point dwelling on the past. Now this looks like the Resident Evil Seven house. Or homage to. This is your chance to do something good, Alice. Don't waste it. What does that mean? Did my choices... Okay. You are for her? Yeah, you are for her. So confused what's going on right now. Oh, who's call who's texting me? Just too much, I can't take it anymore. I won't let you drag me down with you. Isn't this my wallet? 
What did I say? I don't love you anymore? Oh. I guess maybe some doorways are closed. Oh no, that's it says right there. Okay. I'm reading too much into this game. <laughs> Not going near that window. Fuck that. So how many years has it been? Four. Every time a door is locked. Oh, you're in a charming mood today. Ah, uh, the light. Does anyone hear me? The light. Turn on the lights. What? The headlights. Turn them on. Oh my god. Oh. He's telling himself that. Oh my god. Why are you recording this anyway? Sh Sheriff. Moving? No. So, yep, not gonna do it. <laughs> Always close the door behind you. Remember that, kids. I'm still looking down. I don't give a shit. Let me go back up. 
We got a robbery in progress. A convenience store near Birkenstein. Those kids again? Yeah, probably. <gasps> oh my god. Fuck you. I do not want this. This is the scariest this game has been since I started it. Not working. Follow the camera. Just follow the camera. Where am I going? <gasps> oh my god! How are you scaring me on the fucking camera? This is really, this is actually really cool. Oh. Hey. How you doing? Do you copy, Alice? Over. Yes. Adam. Oh my god. It's just a plush doll. Sigh, that means you know where you're going now. Ellis? Is that you? Just open. I don't care. Shit. Off the record, Ellis. What the hell happened? teenager allegedly involved in a convenience store robbery was shot by a police officer arriving at the scene. Oh, the no. suspect was transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. Local authorities confirm that the suspect was unarmed. 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 Oh, we're doing this now. We're going into this. Can you stick the landing on this, Blair Witch? Because you're dealing with some very... Very... Um... I, would, I mean, it's raw either way. It's a very raw, important issue. And you could... You could land, stick the landing on it. Just don't fuck it up. I'm to blame for that. It's not where it all started, is it? Damn, that's a lot of chairs. Oh, just even showing the camera. Adam Shannon, Maryland, domestic, American, May 15, 1995, 14. Oh, I've seen this room before. Let me destroy them, please. Huh? What? Oh, I think I'll put that door from there. Okay. Oh, well, here comes our handsome lad. Hey, is it true you shot your hurting face off in basic training? And what kind of girl would want you now? Your wife didn't seem to mind. 
Oh, hey, shh. he's coming. Oh shit. Yeah, they're gonna shoot me if I come through there. Not him again. He's not really there. This is freaky. Sir! Sir! Yes, sir. Freaking butcher. Sir. 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 Fuck. Alan Palmer. Foxtro one. Shit, that's actually... That really fucking got me. Monarch, this is Foxtrot 1. We confirmed enemy soldiers at 2 o'clock. They are unaware of our presence. Out. You're making it really effective at scaring me when bullets are fired. Forced. I mean, that's effective in real life too, but in a game, it's really. Ashley, no. You're naming. Save the kid already. <gasps> what the fuck is that? The economy, enemy forces were aware of the position. Damn, you had a lot of time around that. One. So he basically got his block. That's something that I don't remember. And this fucking nightmare. Do it. Do what? Oh, does it want me to kill myself? No. Do it. I don't know what it wants me to do.
maybe going on a bit too long now. Oh, yep, here we go. Right. Sylvester Boyce. <laughs> Dennis Leary. Terrence Howard. Roscoe Hayward. Harold Beachman. They're all dead. Because of me. I'm still not looking up. Is this his room? God damn it. Just keep multiplying. Okay, this this has to stop now. This is going on a bit too long. Just look down. Just looking down. Very 
see what you've done. Try as you might, you can only do harm. No, you did this. Stairs are not as effective. Wait, is it? It's, it's walking. It's walking now. I've been waiting for you. Shut up. This just fucking ends. That one's the right one. Now it's just looking at me.
No. No. Behind you. No. Come on. No. No. Come on. Look at me. No. Stop. camera. Fuck it. <sighs> Same. That's almost looking like stop motion. I'm guessing the girl that appears in those visions is the girl he, he killed. Such felt. Oh, that man lived here. Maybe for years. Uh, damn, this this okay. Now I just see that symbol. That's not good. I'll kill you! Oh no, we're reliving it. Come back here! You like that? Oh no.
I'm not done with you. Oh, yeah. This is it. The basement. I'm finally here. Peter! Peter. Peter, where are you? It's a big ass basement. He's not here. What now? Did you really think it would be that easy, Ellis? That the kid would be waiting here for you? So you could save him and go home a hero? <laughs> no, Ellis. <laughs> you don't get to do that. Where are you, motherfucker? Show yourself! I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. And after what you've done, I'm going to enjoy it! <laughs> so am I. Come on, then. The key is under the table. I'm waiting on the other side.
Oh, we, 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 well, yeah, we've now, oh, shit. The combination of his PTSD. No, 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 please, 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 please. Oh God, I'm not gonna hurt you. Shush, no, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, 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 please. What you get, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> it's over. It's finally Shut over. Shut up! All those people, <laughs> children, <laughs> I will rip your fucking heart out! Here anymore. You won't get out of it that easily! Free. Free. I won't let you! <laughs> she always wanted you to become. Shut up! Um. <clears throat> Gave it to oh, gave it to his rage and despair. The psychics in his car was born again. Despite his injuries, Bullet survived. He was later found wandering outside the Shannon's house. Jess cuts all her ties with Ellis after learning of his fate. She didn't say a word. Peter's fate remains unknown. What could I have done things differently? No clue to its whereabouts, Sheriff's body was never recovered from the Black Hills Forest. Todd McKinnon's body was found months later in the Tappy East Creek sawmill, so Ryan was nearly beyond identification. differently and got in or was that just the end result like the Blair Witch takes all hmm. I mean the it was starting to wear its welcome that ending part like when it first started it was like oh this is really good and then as it went on it was like okay now, the fuck is this music? <laughs> Where are you? Uh, um, what is this? But, like, it got better near the end of that as well. So, like, if it just removed, like, two moments, if, like, if the game didn't have those two moments of, like, let me restate it. If it had the one moment where you had to look down and not see the creature, and then do it one more time, that would have been fine. But it kept doing it, like, you know, as a way of pacing, and it really, I don't know, wasn't to my liking, personally. Uh, but overall, it's like, for a license, for a game based on a license, of a story horror franchise as the Blair Witch. That was pretty good. Especially getting a team like Blooper Team. They know how to do horror well. I really liked, um... I keep saying it's obscure, but I know it's a different word. It's not obscure. But it's the one with Rugger Howard. I really liked that game. I never played the Layers of Fears games, though I'm hearing two... It's a bit better than the first one. Less of, um... 
just a roller coaster of jump scares and whatnot. And, you know, there are a lot of jump scares in this game, but there's a lot of effective jump scares that I was not anticipating. Like, when there's a moment where he thinks a bullet is whizzing by him, Ellis is thinking a bullet is whizzing by him, that was really effective because that also scared the shit out of me. And most games have a hard time doing that unless it's like in a multiplayer setting and you're just really focused and just like how it's presented is in a really unique way. But um, yeah, that there was some really good effective scares in that game. I just I now the real blood fluid. Oh, in memory of Rucker Hauer, that's nice. Good on Blooper Team. Good on Blooper Team for that. Rest in peace, Rucker Hauer. Um, but yeah, that's... There's nothing else after that. That's it. That's Blair Witch. Uh, thank you for joining me for this hell of a time. <laughs> uh, whether or not the Blair Witch is worth your time, I say there's, a, there's an Xbox Game Pass deal, which I took advantage of as well. Uh, going on uh, for two months for two dollars of Xbox uh, Game Pass Ultimate, which includes you know Game Pass for both your your Xbox console and your PC plus Xbox Live for like two months. This game can be beaten in like five to six hours. Take a look. You know, I if you didn't watch this walkthrough, which was majority of the time. Um, Take a look at this game, because I think Blooper Team did a really good job. There were some, there's some issues I have when in terms of like how it presents mental health, how it presents like the trauma and the PTSD that Ellis goes through. Uh, Bullet is a great dog. Carver, not the greatest villain, but is okay when established. Still don't know what the fuck that kid is. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a break from streaming for the rest of today. I'm still be gonna be playing. I'm gonna check out uh, Gears Five soon. Maybe stream that at another time. Um, but if you want to catch more uh, streams like this, you go to Twitch.tv/bagman, man, man, because the one man was taken. Uh, catch more of me at Twitter.com/bagman, man. Um, I really want to get a better. URL for it, but because I don't have many subscribers, right now you can catch me at youtube.com slash 123 slash users slash 123 um, where you'll see archives of this plus other streams I did and hopefully more locally recorded uh, Let's Plays as well. So um, thank you so much for joining me and I hope all of you have a wonderful day out there and oh this is a good one. Uh, if you do freelance work and you consider yourself a part of media, whether it's social media, writing, video production, um, just anything, uh, I am part of the National Writers Union uh, under a subgroup known as the Freelance Solidarity Project, where we are uh, a labor group in support and to give rights back to those who do freelance work in the media and it's not just exclusive to writers that's a thing i want to emphasize a lot it is not exclusive to writers if you want to know more check the link at the bottom of hopefully the youtube <laughs> description that i I'll have it uh as well as the q a about like or the the, the faq about more uh questions you might have about this because honestly whether you're based in New York or not as a lot of us have been um, doing this volunteer work and um, basically building this group up since I came in March I started in June of last year but it is well worth joining even if you're in a different state because right now we're covering uh, locally in the United States. But uh, 
Yeah, that's the National Writers Union under the Freelance Solidarity Project. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you all later.